What's going on everybody? Welcome to Jemaya's World. Today we're going to be looking at RG3 aka Robert Griffin III aka take those extensions out your hair. We're going to see what's going on. He's this flashback card um, from week 11 of 2012. Yeah, that was definitely a really, really good game for him. But let's go ahead and take a look at it. Obviously, if you guys have seen my reviews in Madden 16, this is now Madden 17. So I'm going to go based on the game, not just go into my wild rages like I was in Madden 16, where the game was completely different. So here we go right now. Robert Griffin the third, 88 speed. Okay. Um, that is only going to matter when you cross the line of scrimmage in Madden 17. That's similar to 16. They really run slow behind the line of scrimmage, but then they take off when you get across the line of scrimmage. So uh, the 88 speed comes in handy if you get a guy that's running around and just not playing any type of normal defense, AKA he's running Grandma Tit D or Grandpa Nutsack D, you know, like nobody's rushing and stuff like that. That's gonna come in handy up the middle, on the sideline, stuff like that. So you might wanna deal with that. The throw power is a little low in my opinion. I think RG3 has a cannon. That's just my opinion. I've seen this man freaking bomb the ball down the field. Uh, short throw accuracy 93, medium throw 85, throw deep 79. That That's kind of crazy in my opinion. That's crazy. For him to have such a deep low throw. Um, what, did I just say a deep low throw? A low deep throw. Yo, what? All right, good stuff. Um, play action 85, throw on the run 91. That's accurate in my opinion. All right, so let's take a look at some of the other things that are going on. Um, he's a chain mover, obviously, because if dudes are playing sag D, a.k.a. Grandpa Nutsack D, a.k.a. Grandma Tit D, uh, you can just run it right across the line of scrimmage. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things. Acceleration 87. The funny thing about it is he has the same speed and acceleration of a lot of the wide receivers that are currently out. Agility 86. Um, you know, all, the, all these other things I'm not going to really go into because if you hit the quarterbacks currently with the way the fumbles are, they're all fumbles. So looking at carrying and stuff like that, it's all going to be similar. But uh, some people have asked me, what do I think about the card? Uh, if, you're, if you're a running guy and you're not really concerned with throwing the ball deep, you know, that's this guy might be for you. I, I don't know if I would spend, uh, spend 320k for him, though. I think the price is a little bit inflated. I wouldn't get him right now. Unless you're an RG3 fan or you just want to get him just to get him. I definitely wouldn't get him right now. Because I don't like his deep throw. That That is really, really low. And this is... I'm going to let you guys understand this. The deep throw matters. Okay? In Madden 17. You're going to throw the ball out of bounds a lot more times if it's like under 80, 85. You know what I'm saying? Just, just try to get a guy that can really throw the ball deep just in case you need it. But I, again, if you run the read option offense, you can run it a little bit better than you could in Madden 16. So he is useful, and I run different schemes um, depending on what I'm playing, my franchise, ultimate team, whatever like that. I just don't, the, the one thing I really just don't like is the deep throw. The deep throw accuracy is completely low and ridiculous, and that's going to cost somebody like myself that throws the ball deep usually. So all in all, you know, is he a decent card? Yes. Mobile, mobily, at, you know, that mobile aspect, if you, if you run into guys that play a lot of sad things. But overall, dotting people up, if you're doing a lot of mid-range and short throws, fine. But if you like to throw the ball deep, he's going to cost you. Even if the guy beats the press and he's running by himself, a 79 is going to throw the ball out of bounds, which is very accurate and commendable for Madden 17. They've really taken a lot of these attributes on the field, and I love that about Madden 17. So um, all in all, I, you know, I, I don't know if I would highly recommend this card at this price. I wouldn't recommend him. At, at, I don't know if I would use him regardless because I have such a problem with that deep throw. But if you do use him, make sure it's for mid-range and short games. I'm telling you, you're going to overthrow it every time with that deep throw accuracy. The, the, the ratings actually matter in Madden 17. Hopefully this has been useful to everybody that watched the video. Definitely subscribe. Join my franchise if you want to by going to gmarsworld.com and getting on the waiting list. Def and also you can listen to it on iTunes, Android, and a lot of different other apps. Just check the information inside the description box on this video right here. Welcome to Gmars World if this is your first video. And I hope to see you later on when I put out more gameplays. One love.